What do we got? We got some canned cocktails. Oh, and they're pretty, aren't they? They are. It is a bouquet of fruits and Ooh. gin. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so this is gin and soda. The gin is made in London at Greenall's Distillery. Mm-hmm. But there are, the sodas are made here. So we got four. It's Sicilian lemon, blueberry, pink grapefruit, wildberry. We're going to do two parts, one review. We'll do Sicilian lemon and blueberry, and then we'll do pink grapefruit and wildberry. I'm right? on board with that. Okay, so we'll, we'll start for these first you two. You pour. I read. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Greenall's Gin, the very first London dry gin established in 1761. Wow. Is entering the $4.4 billion ready-to-drink industry. Is that... In the U.S., with a range of four brand new, naturally flavored, refreshing, ready-to-drink gin and sodas. And by billion, we mean billion. Billion. <laughs> billion. Made in England's foremost gin distillery, J and G and J Distillers, the new RTDs are launching in fully recyclable cans, just in time for summer imbibing exclusively for the U.S. market. Greenall's canned cocktails use the brand's classic, award-winning, naturally flavored gins with soda. The lightly spritzy flavors include wildberry pink gin and soda, blueberry gin and soda, Sicilian lemon and soda, pink grapefruit and soda. As a brand, they strive to not only live up to their name as the original Lennon Dry Gin, but also to be the go-to gin for simple everyday enjoyment. The product is put together by Quintessential Brands, the five-time winner of the International Spirits Challenge Gin Distiller of the Year trophy. And it's distributed in the U.S. by the company's U.S. division. Huh. All right. Their gin is a closely guarded secret dating back 260 years and there are only seven master distillers that know how to make the gin Interesting. in their entire history. So they could tell us, but then they have to kill talk, us. Well, talk about job security. These wow. guys, seven well, guys guess. in 260 years. That's pretty that's impressive. It's pretty good. Yeah. They're like indentured servants. I, I think still. they're shackled to the still. <laughs> I think so. sure. they, can, they can tell you how they made it, but they're <laughs> weightless and insane. I don't know. The uh, Greenall's gin consists of a blend of eight of the finest botanicals sourced from around Tell the world. Tell me about the rabbits, George. <laughs> from Tuscan juniper to delicate Moroccan coriander mm. and zesty Spanish lemons. Sounds delightful. The classic British gin using natural flavors makes Greenall's a perfect choice for all gin lovers. Mm. All right, cool. Let's do it. So your thought this was... This looks like lemonade was this tart, looks like blueberry. Would you say tart sweet, tart sweet? Tart sweet, tart sweet. Okay, so we'll do tart sweet and then we'll do tart sweet. There we go. And it, you know, it is nice though because... They're essentially color-coded. Yes. So you know how we get some of these like seltzers and they just put the flavor in but they don't add any color? And they're all clear. And I, I don't know what's what. i got to smell it. So this is actually perfect. Yes. So I'll right, start with the lemons. Start with the lemon. Tart. Cheers. It's got, a, it's got a lemony smell to it. Wow. Oh, that's nice. That is pretty nice. That's nice. It's like the carbonation was, yeah, was odd. Yeah, just kind of Yeah. You know? It was... It was, it was and I, I like the puckering of mm. the lemon. That's, that's really nice. That's like a really good lemonade. They blend it mm -hmm. in there. That's nice. I really like this. It's like a, it's like the devil's chicken lemonade <laughs> with a little kick. I, if you <laughs> say so, sure. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Blueberry. <laughs> and you know what I mean by the devil's chicken. That sound, uh, smells pretty good. You know what? The nose isn't great. It's almost got like a like a cough syrup kind of smell to it. You well, know? To, to me, it's got more like a, an English jam kind of smell to Maybe. it, which I, I do like my jams and jellies. I don't know. It's almost got like a Robitussin-y smell to it. Oh, it does. Yeah, I don't like Robitussin. All right, it's not bad. Equally fizzy. A little... Same kind of fizz. A little jammy. It's very blueberry-y. It, it it's, doesn't taste as crisp as the... The lemon. lemony one? Like the, the, the flavors in the lemon, I think, were better. Yeah, but it's, it's not bad. pretty good. No, it's not it's, bad. It's pretty good. It's, it's not pretty bad. good. It's, it's better than a lot of the other ones we've had in a while. It's not bad. It's not like an overpowering juice. You know what I don't get though? I don't get the gin. Yeah. Oh, neither one. I really don't, I don't get really the gin. I don't get the gin. No. Which it must be a very subtle gin. Now I may have a jar of wild blueberry jam in the fridge. If you'd like to compare the two. Yeah, sure. Nose them both. Eh. Maybe make a sandwich. Ooh, that'd be nice. Ooh. I got peanut butter too. Ooh. What is sandwich? Sandwich. Blueberry peanut butter and banana sandwich. Like sandwich. Mm, yeah. So if I were going and uh, picking between mm. just these two, I'd probably go with lemon. The lemon's really good. Blueberry, which I'm surprised because I really like berry full yeah. of things. But um, the lemon's just so well made. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, the lemon's the lemon's like, like nice tart. And you're a, a, a gin fan. I like gin. I wouldn't say aficionado, but you're a fan. I like it. I like gin. Um, do you think that lemon goes with the gin more? 
or lime or as Truffaut's. Oh, yeah, I mean, so it's, it's, more of a, it's more of a perfect pairing. Yeah, right? gin and citrus is just yeah. is just spectacular. So I'm thinking, given this, I'm thinking that just just you know just based upon this, the pink river is going to be better than the wild berry. But we're going to find out. I think so. So what we're going to do? We're going to pause. Two. We're going to pause, and we're going to we're going to do that. Part two, electric two. boogaloo. Yes, we're back. Yes, we are. Round two. We never left. Ding, ding. All right, so now we're doing, uh, again, tart sweet, right? So pink tart. grapefruit, wild berry. Sweet. Let's see how they color code these. Oh. I'm thinking like pink and then and then maybe like dark red. And then not pink. Let's see what we got here. I'll open since I'm not reading. That's, that's fine. Oh, no, wait. This is just a... There's pink coming. A little, a little pink. A hue. Pinkish hue, eh? You mean like one of your kids when they, after they slap you around? Hugo. You know? Oh, it's not pink when they slap me around. <laughs> it's bright red. It's, it's a ruby red. It's ruby red. Sometimes it's blood orange. Oh, this is a little darker. A little darker. Is it something like that? No, I'm going. Okay. Like a fresh pink cherry? There you go. A pink cherry. Okay. All right. So we got your two. You know you got your first? two. We'll do pink grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. Cheers. It's a light, very light pink. Yeah. Light, very light grapefruit. Light grapefruit. You know? Not alka seltzer -y. Not robitussin -y or whatever. I was expecting it to be a little more um, like pungent. No, you know, no it's pretty well. Grapefruits get that. Yeah, like, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, you can almost taste the tartness yeah. in, the, in the nose. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's... That's like a blast of that ruby red grapefruit. Oh, now I'm torn. Right? Hmm. Okay. All right, well, stop. Don't, 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 don't press. I'm torn. That's good. Boy, that's good. Hmm. That's good. That's very nice. I'm going for this Cheers. wild cherry. Cheers. Wild berry, sorry. Wild berry. Wild berry. Now this smells more strawberry, raspberry, yeah. berry, it's more berry on the nose, where the yeah. other one was a little jammy. This smells more berry-ish. Jammy salad? Yeah, jammy what, Whatever salad. the hell that means, I don't know what that means. Lucky guy. Is that what it means? A jammy Apparently. salad? Apparently. Okay. Sure. Doesn't sound like a lucky guy, does it? Mmm. No. See, I'm getting that robitussin anything. thing. Yeah, and it's a little, a, maybe a little too sweet for me. Yeah. Where it has a little medicinal up front, a little too sweet in the back end. That's not bad, I guess. No, it's not terrible, but it's, it's, it's that's, not, that's not for me. No. After the grapefruit, it's not. Yeah, I think I like the citrusy ones better. So they're... if we were picking an order... Picking an order? I would probably switch the grapefruit with the blueberry. Mm. And go in that order. Okay. I think, I think the oh, lemon, you mean the drinking order? Yeah, I think the lemon may have been the best. Although the, the grapefruit... Was, Grapefruits are close second. Grapefruit was really close. And then the, um, then the blueberry, then the wild berry. Like, I would go... A minus, B plus, B, B minus. Well, that seems fair. C plus, B minus, because I don't like that, that one seems too much. Fair. That seems this fair. one was okay. This one at least like tasted like blueberries. Smelled a little robitussin -y, but tasted like fresh, like like blueberry jam, like you yeah, said. Yeah. This one's a little too... Yeah, it's a little too... Nah, I don't like that one. Not juicy, a little too... Yeah, it doesn't do it for me. Juicy, juicy. That doesn't do it for me. Yeah. This is definitely the winner. Yeah. This is a close second. This was, that was really That's good. That's a very close second. Good. In fact, I'm having more. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back for more. So yeah, these are nice. They're not too sweet. I get a little more of the gin with, with the two citrusy yeah. ones. Like, I, I can get a hint of the gin. I think but, I get more with the grapefruit than with the lemon, but yeah, you get a little bit. Yeah, but the gin is very, very, very yeah. subtle. If you told me this was just vodka and soda, I would believe yeah. you. You know? And, and I think a part of it is probably because they have to bring this down to a can ABV. Right. That it's not... Yeah. As overpowering as yeah. as their quality gin probably would be, if you right, 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 right. To make this cocktail yourself, right. it's a whole different yeah. thing. So it's so all good. Yeah, it's good stuff. So I guess overall we'd give it like a like a B plus overall, with with yeah, some I, highs I, and I, lows. Yeah, I, I think so. And I, I also think that the the ready to drink is such an emerging market. There's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Find the good stuff. Right. Right. Don't just get a can because you know people don't like beer. Right. Get a good can because they're out there. Right. And this is one of them. Yeah, that no, was good. It was really good. Yeah. So uh, I believe this was from our friends in New York, Handcrafted PR. If you sent so. this to us, so thank you to them and thank you to Green Alls for sending these along. Yeah, Flesh. Cheers. Cheers.